Hi guys, this is Brad and Karen McLean here in Oakville. This is the layout of the kitchen. There's few things that uh, we need to talk about this um, out of the ordinary, let's say. Okay, let's start with this pantry that belongs to the other room, right? So look what's going on here. We have a molding that stretches to the ceiling all the way. Obviously, you find another molding like this, it's impossible. So they're gonna buy a new molding and we're gonna install it for them no painting no that do the best job you can obviously we're gonna uh, build this new pantry it's gonna be higher it's gonna be um, to the ceiling obviously leaving that space for the crown um, well let's put it this way we're not gonna match the crown molding in that side because it's better that way we decided it's better it would, be, would have been too complicated trying to make it look good here with the molding that matches the cabinet because they really want to have the crown molding on the room okay, in the room okay so now let's look at this pantry we're going to rebuild it just look at the measurement it's no big deal but there is a i don't know if you can i i didn't turn the flash on but anyway there's a hole there like it's deeper so build the pantry as per spec however one, once you install it, then you cut the hole, you cut the opening and make it nice and flush with the big router flush bed. And uh, so you can go through, because it's there's, there's stairs there. So they use it to get extra storage, okay? So let's keep it that way. If this is not clear, call me, but I think with the video, you should be pretty damn good. Let's look at the pantry, that door opens. So what I've ordered, two big doors. So that's gonna be a fake, fake door, and this one's gonna be a fake door. But the fake, fake door, it has to be the same size like the one on the left. So with the latch, you push it and it's gonna open. So I know it overlaps quite a bit, but I want it to look like a real fake door, okay? So the owner gonna be the only one knowing. This fake door here overlaps this edge and this edge. So it's, you know, seven eighths each side bigger. Now, here, I just have hard time. I don't care about this filler. You can leave it alone, but I have a hard time wasting so much space. So please demolish this thing. Do it properly and safely, um, but I wanna gain this space as much as possible, okay? So demolish this filler, please, guys. This is all standard, no big deal. We're gonna close that. Build a wall, have a bank of drawers, bank of drawers, a door, bank of drawers. Now, all the uppers are brand new. So we're going 36 inches. These are 30, we're gonna go 36. So these are all six inches uh, taller. And then we're gonna have a crown molding to the ceiling. I picked a um, kind of uh, crown molding. We're gonna pay for, um, we're gonna pay for the extra, but it's worth it because it's whatever. You'll see. It's eleven ninety one. Ask Sherry uh, for uh, the profile, and it will hopefully cover the damage left from the bulkhead because it protrudes quite a bit. All right, we have three and a half available, but we're gonna go um, three and, and sixty one sixty. Now this is the other thing. Um, we're rebuilding, but we're pushing. They really like the exposed shelf. We're not gonna do this. We're gonna push the old thing on the other side of the beam, right? So now we're not gonna have a shelf on the six extra inches that we're stretching the doors. So that's gonna be just plain until we until the crown molding. Okay, it's just plain filler. So work it out just the way you guys know to do it and make it look uh, good. Now, here is gonna to be totally open. But when you take the bulkhead out, ask them just in case they wanna cup it, if the drywall is totally terrible. But for now, their decision is to go open. So we'll go open here too, so the chimney goes all the way to the ceiling. All right, I can't take on anything else. Uh, let's look at the drawing too, in case something else. Oh, uh, this is Sherry for you. We have the size of this. Um, uh, shelf exposed shelf so we're gonna order it assembled so we don't have to worry about anything else yeah that's it so the owner will provide a crown molding for that room we'll just go and install it and that's included in our quote 
Um, it's an HDF door, but all the molding will be wood because they're available longer. Um, there's nothing else. Thank you, guys. Bye.